A short Humble Originals game, Thorn, or is it Thor.n? Sees you waking up on the morning of your 18th birthday in an unsettling dystopian world and being put to work by a cheerful disembodied voice. Your birthday present, the credit I gave you, it will allow you to unlock your very first workstation. It'll allow you to conduct your very first job. Despite their attitude, something is clearly not right in the world given that your work involves creating uniforms, rations and munitions. It's an interesting premise and one that I could see working very well as the start of a bigger game. Sadly, as a short game that's over within a half hour, it falls apart. The work consists of repetitively clicking through a few buttons, gaining credits which can be used to unlock upgrades, which speed up the work, and eventually even automate it removing even the basic interaction of button pressing. In gameplay terms, it's following the same sort of pattern as the clicker games genre. It's a game type that was created as a joke, and yet became inexplicably popular, and given some of the voiceover lines, I feel like this could possibly be intended as a satire on the genre. Congratulations, you've successfully earned 50,000 credits. I'd have thought you'd have something to show for it. However parodic the intent of the gameplay though, it doesn't change the fact that it becomes tedious well before the end of its runtime, despite the brevity. As you work your way up to level 15 to unlock the door to the next area, you will spend too much time sitting waiting around for automated machines to gain enough credit for the next upgrade so you can finally move on, at which point the game reveals its rather abrupt ending. I did for a while think that maybe there was an alternative more rebellious ending, since the terminal that starts the game off becomes active again every so often throughout the game, and using it gives this message. Do not interact with this terminal. This terminal is now off limits. Punishment is severe for those who disobey. However, nothing comes of this and it plays the exact same message about being punished every time. Apart from the one time that the terminal randomly allowed me to swap some credits for citizen points. It's a shame since the setup and atmosphere are good, and the glimpses of how the world works are intriguing, but it doesn't have enough story or gameplay to back it up, and the drudgery wears out its welcome far too quickly, ultimately making it hard to recommend unless you're really desperate for a way to kill 30 minutes. You don't say much, do you? They sometimes say the silent ones are the ones you need to watch. Maybe I should watch you more closely. Thank <laughs> you.